our project is babies driving robots, babies and robots together. Um, and that usually brings some, some interest because babies and robots don't supposed to go together. What, you drinking? Thirsty? what we focus on in our lab is um, trying to maximize the exploratory ability of kids with significant impairments like cerebral palsy. And um, as infants and toddlers grow up, they grow up fast, they're moving, thinking, talking, interacting with the environment. The kids I see with cerebral palsy have mobility problems that short circuit that. They don't um, crawl when they should, they don't get up and walk when they should, they don't play in the playground when they should, they don't cause havoc at home like they should. Two and three year olds shouldn't be sitting still passively. They should be causing havoc. They should be putting bananas in the DVD player. They should be getting in trouble in grocery stores. And so I'm a creator of bad behavior. I'm trying to get toddlers with significant brain impairments up and going again. When we look at kids in school classrooms, like we're here in the Early Learning Center, when we use this center to look at how mobility and immobility specifically impacts a child's ability to learn and socialize with peers, what we see is a striking difference than typical. What we provide is power mobility devices and abilities for kids to rapidly, starting at six months of age, become mobile again. So very quickly in their life, instead of waiting until three, four, and five years to get your first power mobility device, we've devised um, small robotic devices that get you driving at six months. I get phone calls from parents who have our robots at home saying literally, you've created a monster. And then they say, thank you very much. When with a tear in their eye, they say, I didn't realize what I was missing until I said my first come back here right now. The barriers aren't big. We can do this, we can close it. Um, and those thousands and thousands of kids every year in the U.S. and hundreds of thousands of kids worldwide can have mobility. And if you want a test of like how bad mobility could be, this weekend go put yourself in a corner and duct tape your mouth shut for Saturday and Sunday and you'll call me with a check because you'll go, I didn't realize how critical my mobility, how easy my mobility is. Um, so it's just that, that subtle shift in thinking. I think I think we'll get it.